Computers are amazing machines. They pretty much control our lives. We usually think seeds of computer science were planted by guys named Steve and Bill. But what if I told you that the real ground floor of computer programming started with women who had names like Harriet and Martha? And these women really knew how to cut a rug. What critical technological breakthrough connected this to this? For the answer, I went to the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan, where I met up with Kristen Gallerno, the curator of communications and information technology. These are the looms, okay. Turns out, beautiful looms like these, used to craft everything from clothing to rugs, have a unique and unexpected commonality with early computers. Is there a point at which the loom took a big leap forward? That was in about 1801, and that's when Joseph Marie Jacquard, he was a French weaver, he really innovated this idea of the punch card loom system. The punch card is really simple as a concept. It's just a piece of stiff paper with holes punched in it. But those holes, and whether there's holes or not holes, it's all really important to the function of the loom. These cards are really a set of instructions for creating very complex designs. When applied to the jacquard loom, delicate strings interact with the holes or absence of them to create remarkably intricate patterns. As you can see here, where there is a hole, the thread passes through. Where there is no hole, the thread does not pass through. When we talk about the loom and the punch card as a predecessor to the computer, we're not exaggerating. No, absolutely not. It's 100% a early sort of form of computing. It's very much like binary code in a computer, so it's like a one or a zero or on or off. Was there somebody who said, wait a minute, the punch cards that those weavers are using, we could use that for computing? We have Charles Babbage to thank for that. And he was an Englishman, and he developed what is known as the first mechanical computer. He saw Jacquard's loom, and he was really inspired by it. He thought, wow, these punch cards, these are such a complex system. And he thought of them as being a really great way to be able to solve really complex problems. Charles Babbage was friends with a woman named Ada Lovelace, and she is really the first person to write a computer program. And she made this really beautiful analogy where she said that Charles Babbage's 1837 analytical engine was able to weave information and algebra problems in the same way that Jacquard's weaving loom could weave flowers and leaves on cloth. So she really tied it together. <laughs> was she also a weaver? I don't think she was. I really hope she I was. I bet she embroidered. Her name was Ada Lovelace.